We on Earth see the night sky as a single image filled with points of light. Yet, each ray of light that reaches our eyes at this moment has a different history. The story revealed by these lights is like a fantastic time machine that tells the tale of the cosmos reaching back towards the beginning of time itself. The solid cone on the right is a visual cosmic clock showing the space-time origin of every object in our field of view. Symbolic colors label the light from each time zone where the reddest objects are from the most ancient eras. The apparent empty spaces are due both to large variations in astronomical scales and our limited ability to detect objects in each scale range. Since the velocity of light is finite, each light source provides only a snapshot of the way it first appeared when its image began the long journey through the universe to reach our Earth. The earliest visible light in the universe is the cosmic background radiation, whose fluctuations are symbolized here in red and blue. We linger for a moment to admire the most distant galaxies, the virtual constellations of the early universe. As we finish roaming around the sky, we add more and more recent objects until all that can be seen is again visible. We next expand our cosmic clock's field of view. Each slice now contains a condensed map of the entire spherical shell of the universe at one given time. With each tick of the clock, a spherical shell expanding out from the Earth at the speed of light includes progressively more distant objects in its visible volume. When we reach the Milky Way, we turn it on its edge and retreat back through the mass of observable galaxies, revealing the disc-shaped gap where the Milky Way itself shadows our view of the distant universe. When our expanding sphere reaches the limit of the visible universe, we reverse the direction of time to return to the present. So far, we have imagined the universe to be held constant at its current size. The ancient universe was in fact much brighter and smaller than it is today, about one one-thousandth of its present radius at the moment when the cosmic background's great flash was set free. As we retrace our journey, the universe literally expands beneath our feet. The final tick of the cosmic clock occurs as we at last return home to our own Earth, in our own place, and in our own time.